this is Cal. I'm the developer of Voxel Gadget 2, the hit new plugin that's sweeping the nation. Voxel Gadget 2 is a full redux of the original plugin and it is crammed packed with new features. In this series, we're going to take an in depth look at all of its features, old and new. Behind me is a teleporter at spawn here on the Voxel Box. This teleporter is wired up with Voxel Gadget and it sends us over to the Voxel Gadget 2 showroom where we're going to spend most of our time in this series. Let's head on over there now. And here we are. This is the state-of-the-art Voxel Gadget 2 showroom. It's designed by me to help teach everything there is to know about Voxel Gadget. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the basics of Voxel Gadgets. And just because they're basic does not mean they are not important. These are the essentials that you will need for every complicated gadget build. We start off with the dispenser. Every gadget has to have one. When this dispenser is triggered by redstone, the gadget is fired. Remember though, for Minecraft to trigger the dispenser, it must have at least one item in its inventory. No, air does not count. But how does the gadget know what to do with that block? That's where the mode blocks come in. One of these blocks must follow the main dispenser in any direction. Each of the modes causes the gadget to work differently, so let's take a look at what they each do. We start off with place mode, or the iron block. Simple enough, it places the block. Wow, complicated. The diamond block does the opposite, it removes the block that it's targeted at. Toggle mode, on the other hand, if the block is present, it removes it. If the block is not present, it places it. It's a happy medium between the two other modes. There's only so much you can do with three different modes, so Voxel Gadget introduces modifiers that change the way the gadget interacts with the world. The easiest type of modifiers to master are the offset modifiers, so let's take a look at those. Offset modifiers affect the target position of the gadget. A gadget normally targets a block directly in front of the dispenser, but you can adjust that by adding offset modifiers behind the mode block. Offset modifiers come in 1 block, 5 block, 10, and 25 block increments. Let's take a look at how exactly those work with the demo. You can see right here that this gadget has one one block offset, and that adds one to the offset for a total of one. That's complicated math right there. As you can see now, instead of targeting the block directly in front of it, it's targeting one block farther away. This gadget here works similarly with an extra offset for a total of two. More complicated math right there. And it's targeting two blocks in front of its normal position instead of one. Offsets are easy enough, so let's throw in something new. There's also a set of modifiers called subtraction offsets that subtract from the offset instead of adding. Subtraction offsets come in two flavors, one and five. They do what you'd expect, subtracting blocks from the offset of the gadget and bringing the target block closer to the dispenser. Let's look at that in action. Here we have a rather long gadget, lots of offset modifiers there, some addition and subtraction, but let's count and see where it's actually going to end up firing at. We start off with a plus one, so that gives us one, plus one again, we have two, minus one is one now, plus five is six, but we minus five, so we stick at one, add 25 is 26, but subtract a bunch of fives, 21, 16, 11, six, and one. Through all these modifiers, the gadget's offset remains one at the end, so let's take a look at it. Yes it is, it's targeting the block one block in front of the normal offset. Easy enough, right? Just a bunch of adding. And before we leave, I have two more demos to share. In this one, we're going to take a look at how gadgets can add or remove to inventories. So both of these gadgets are targeting that dispenser in the center. Right now, inside that dispenser, there's 15 glowstone. All of the dispensers on, uh, have some glowstone in them. This one adds one glowstone to the middle because it's targeting that dispenser. This one over here, with the remove modifier, removes the glowstone from the middle dispenser's inventory. And let's take a look at that again really fast. Yes, indeed, we're at 14 glowstone now. And we're going to look at one final demo now. Let's see what happens with this dispenser. Inside this dispenser, there's lots of different types of block. There's some gadget modifiers, there's some stairs, there's some glowstone, lots of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and see what happens when we try and place one. So you can see, we get a, a crate, we get some glowstone, we get the fancy wallpaper. I don't really know what it's called, but it's, it's nice. And then we get some yellow wool, we get some stairs. You can see that it's randomly placing a single block out of this inventory each time. That's how it works. But for now, congratulations! You should now have a solid grasp on the basics of Voxel Gadget. There's a lot more to come though. In our next video, we're going to take a look at more complicated modifiers. You may have to wait to see the next video, but if you can't stand waiting any longer, then hop onto the Voxel Box Explorer Showcase for yourself. If you enjoyed the video or thought it was helpful, leave a like. We appreciate it. 
If you want to know when the next video comes out, subscribe to the Box of Box here on YouTube and you'll be the first to know when it's published. This was Cal, thanks for watching, and good luck gadgeting.